Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is going to be a quick note section over the volume of pyramids and cones. So today we're gonna to get two more equations and then you are gonna have more practice with these and your, um, your cheat sheet, I believe, is almost complete. I believe you have one more section that you would need to add to it and that's for spheres. But other than that, we are almost done. And then we will start our last chapter. Whoop, whoop. All right, so let's get it cooking. All right, to find the volume of pyramids, your equation is going to be one third times the area of your base multiplied times your height. So it's built upon that equation for your prisms. However, um, the difference between our pyramids and our prisms is as we move up in our stack, so along our height, our base of our area is getting smaller. Therefore, we multiply by one third to account for that. All right, so let's do a little bit of practice. Here, I have, over here, I have a rectangular pyramid. My base is right along here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll be honest, y'all. Drawings are sublime for this section. We did our best, okay? We did our best. So to find the area of that base, so my big B, I'm going to take 10 times 11, which gives me 110 inches squared. Now I can plug into my volume equation. So one third times 110 times my height of 16. A little bit of plug and chuck. So 16 times 110 gives me 1,760. And I'm gonna multiply that by one third or divide by one third to give me my final volume of 586.6666666, which I am going to simplify down to 0.67 inches cubed. And there you have it. Not too bad because we've practiced these skills while solving for surface area. All right, another uh, type of problem when you're solving for pyramids that may come to a challenge is when you have a triangular pyramid. Sometimes um, you'll be given a problem where you need to use those uh, special right triangle uh, relationship or if you had, um, you could use Pythagorean theorem or your trig relations in order to figure out what the measure of those side segments are. Um, here, we're going to pick one of those and do a practice. So here, um, my equation for my volume when I'm solving for a pyramid is going to be one third times big B ba uh, base times height. So that area of that base. Well, first, I need to figure out the area of my base triangle before I move on. I got to solve for my big B. So when I have a triangle, find my area, it's going to be one half base times height. Well, I have my base, which is going to be 14, but I don't know what my height is going to be, this x value, all right? So I need to solve for x. I have my hypotenuse of 22.1. I have my side measure of 14. How do I solve for this side measure? How do I solve for x? Well, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So 14 squared plus x squared is going to be equal to 22.1 squared. 14 squared is going to be 196. 22.1 times 22.1 or 21, 22.1 squared is 488.41. Subtract oh, by 196, subtract by 196. That gives me an x squared value of 292.41. Let me take the square root of that to get x by itself. And my side measure is going to be 17.1.
All right, there's my height for my triangle. So to find the area of the space, I'm gonna take 1 half times 14 times 17.1. So 17.1 times 14 uh, divided by two. My big B or my area of my base is going to be equal to 119.7 meters squared. All right, now that I have my area of my base, I can plug into my volume equation. So volume is equal to one third times 119.7 times my height, which is 19. Normally that value will be in your picture. However, I was struggling drawing and uh, I, making sure everything was plain and available to see, so I read it off to the side. Okay, so 119.7 times 19. So it'll be 2,274 divided by three gives me my final volume of 758.1 meters cubed. For the sulfur volume, I'm going to multiply the area of my base times height and divide by three or multiply by one third. All right, so here in this example, I'm trying to find the volume of this cone. In order to do so, um, I'm going to multiply one third times pi times nine squared, my radius, and my height is 17 times 17, All right? So one third pi times 81 times 17, 81 times 17 gives me 1,377. I'm gonna divide that by three, which gives me 459 pi. If I was writing in terms of pi, that would be my final answer, but let's take it a step further and multiply that by pi to give me my final answer of 1,441 point, oh wait, oh no, we'll round it there, 0. 0.99 yards cubed. If I was wanting to round to the tenths value, my final answer would be 1,442.0 yards cubed. But here we're just gonna round to the hundredths. All right, that's all I have for you today. So if you have any questions with any of these problems, please let me know. 